awesome. Come on out, guys. It's time for the review. Alrighty, first and foremost, taking a look at the box. Love the art. This digital painting is so very dynamic, conveying a lot of emotion, letting you see all the different armaments this kit has. You got the glare on the eye. All these little details are really nice. I love this subtle detailing on the side to denote that it is an iron-blooded orphan's kit. We can see the cross-section of the Barbatos face right here. It's a really nice touch. I'm wondering if they're going to do that moving forward with other lines. We've got the Bandai Namco in the corner. That's a mainstay now. Turning it over, we can see the different poses this kit's capable of. I love the colors on this kit. These off-whites, these bony grays and the maroon are really nice. Here we can see the other grazes that we've got. We've built him already. I've got him somewhere buried in the stack. But Cyclus's Schwabe graze is the star of the show today, so let's only focus on him. Let's get right into it.
Now that we have our build complete, we can see that Cyclus wasted no time in stealing some extra armaments for this Schwabe Graze before he left the base that he killed a superior officer at. We've got some bayonet handguns, the normal Graze axe gun, and a buckler shield. Speaking of the normal Graze loadout, we can compare them side by side and see all the similarities. We've got the axe holster. The boosters on the back are different. The standard Graze has two sets that go up or down, whereas the Schwabe has the three on the back and then two extra modified boosters on the thighs as well. Those rifles are similar. We've got the head that opens up to reveal the mono eye and the legs are similar, which is a good thing because that is the best part of the Graze frame in my opinion. While this does have more of a gunslinging assassin vibe, this Graze is not afraid to get down and dirty. Here we have the close combat loadout with the standard Graze axe, very reminiscent of the Zaku 2s, and we also have the small buckler shield. I love the way that the chevrons on this little buckler match up with the chevrons on the shoulder. It's a nice extra little detail. The colors on this Graze are so nice. I'm glad they went with a pale more bony gray for the underframe in lieu of the standard mechanical gray we're so used to. We can see how nice those leg frames are with this really deep bend you can pose it. One other nice thing about this kit is that the arms are an improvement from the standard grays. The standard grays arms are pretty loose and the wrists are limp whereas these hold up very nicely furthered even more by the fact that all of the guns have that extra little clip that latches into the wrist to stabilize it. So the stability on this kit is greatly improved and I appreciate that very much. Alrighty, lastly, let's just touch on some articulations. So the good news is that it's a graze frame, which is one of the sturdier frames in the bunch. But the bad news is that it's also a graze frame, which means it has its own inherent issues. For example, as much as we love these high heels, they just, they limit the foot movement. It's hard to pose them sometimes. And while we do get some beautiful knee bends here with this, you're prone to other parts just popping off. The waist comes off really easily, the way the legs are built, although I'm glad we didn't polycap this, the connection just isn't super secure. But I mean, these are minor things. I still love this kit all in all. It's so much fun. The colors are great. The little details are nice. And it's a fun, whimsical take on the Gray's frame. Now before I sign out, I just wanted to give you guys one last peek at the Master Grade GNX that I've been working on. It's coming along, got the arms finished this time, and I did get my LEDs in the mail, so that's also exciting. I know I tried a few different things out on this video with the more ASMR build versus the normal time lapse. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that and the like button. So you can keep up with me and all of the other model kits that I've got coming. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.